Hello, beginning ballroom dancers. This is class number two, so if you missed class number one, make sure to go back and watch that. What did we do in class one? We did Foxtrot. Ah. And this week we are doing Waltz. So, changing gears. How exciting Waltz is my favorite. I know. Here we go. We're gonna show you what it looks like. We're gonna do some basic steps. We're gonna do some turning. We're gonna do some traveling. It's gonna be awesome. Box step, if you've ever done any other ballroom dances, you've probably done a box step. We rotate the box step. Spin, and then we're going to travel, and then back to the box, we'll do it all again. Spin, and travel. Let's break that down for you, we're going to start with the box step. So I'm going to go forward on my left, and she's just going back on her right. She's doing the back of the box as I do the front. We do side close together, now I do the back as she does the front. Simple as that. So we're thinking of outlining a square here on the floor, and we're always going to use our outside foot to do that. Ah, I like that, outside foot. So for here, I'm drawing this side of the box into the back, and then the left side at the top. Whoever is moving forward will be using their left foot, whoever is moving back will be using their right foot. Timing will stay the same throughout all of this waltz. It changes only when you get into advanced waltz, and so we don't need to worry about that for a while. And it goes one, two, three, 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 and that is the box for you. We're gonna hold each other in the same way that we did in Foxtrot in our closed frame. Matthew's gonna wrap his right arm around my back. I'm just going to left, uh, rest my left hand on his. Let's pull him around the Nice and easy, gentle hold over here. Notice we're nice and wide. We're not collapsed in and oh, groovy. <laughs> so we're nice and big up top. We are gonna do this while we do our box step. Same thing applies. We were holding hands because sometimes it's easier to learn that way. It's, it's easier to see as well. So if you feel like you're kicking each other or you need a little bit of space, you can practice it first with just the hand. As you can see, that arm connection was really important because we started rotating. So while we are holding onto each other, we can start just doing the box nice and square like you're just learning. From here, Matthew's gonna start rotating us counterclockwise towards his left side, holding his arms nice and steady so that I can also feel what's going on and follow it. Most people, when they first learn this, try to go counterclockwise, and I don't know if this looks strange to you, but it feels really, really so awkward. So awkward. I don't like it. No, 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 no. So we need to be going left, I think left. Counterclockwise blows my mind. Yeah. But to my left, so I'm going towards my left hand as I rotate the whole time. And there is no amount of rotation that we have to do. There's no strength 25 degrees or something every single step. We just need to keep moving counterclockwise. Let's talk about that spin that we showed you earlier. So that's gonna start in the box step that we were just doing. Matthew is gonna signal this by dropping his right hand as we go back on his right foot forward on mine. That tells me that we're about to change we're going into this spin, we're going to then throw it all the way, come back together. So really all I'm doing as a leader is continuing to rotate my box as she's spinning under, but I feel like we can probably break that down a little bit, as it can be confusing. Let's talk about arms really quick. Right arm drops, I invite her to step underneath with my left arm, and I just keep this relaxed. I'm not holding on to her, I'm not gripping. So right arm drops. Anything for you as a follow-up with the arms? I'm just thinking about keeping my right arm in this kind of L tree so that it doesn't get behind my head or really far in front of me. So that arm, Matthew's arm circling is what's really taking me around. Yes. So I do that on the back half of the box. I step back and drop my right arm here. As I do my side close, I invite Lydia to step under. We're going to pause at that moment. So she does two steps as I do side close. And notice we're actually facing the same direction at this point. Her right foot is free, my left foot is free. All I have to do now is step parallel with each other and then we swing side foot to the back up and we are back to the back half of our bodies. Let's do that one more time. So I go forward, on the back half I drop, side close I invite her under. Let's pause there again for a second. So notice we're facing the same way. We step forward together, side close to meet, and we are done. It's that simple. And you have the back combo. In that turn, we want to make sure that we're really matching each other, especially at the end. 
it's very common for one of us to try and meet the other person oh. a little bit more. So as we're in that moment where we're both facing the same direction, we'll get there under here. We want to make sure we're both still stepping straight forward and then paying attention to where the other person is side closing so that we line up at that very last part. What I think here for both the leader and the followers, when we take this forward step, that line that we have just stepped on, that's the same line that you will do the side close on. So notice I'm swinging the side and I'm still on that same line as is Lydia. What will often happen, uh, one or both people will try to swing back to each other and then bump. It makes for great ballroom dancing. <laughs> So let's go to that traveling step that we showed you earlier. Why do we need travel? Waltz is a traveling dance. The whole thing is technically supposed to move us around the dance floor. So counterclockwise. Counterclockwise around the dance floor. So this is just the beginning stages of that. Keep in mind, this is essentially the first half of the box, just on repeat. We'll walk through the footwork, but know that going ahead. Yeah, so if I do the front half of the box, if I do the front half of the box, Rather than stepping backwards to do the end of the box, I'm actually just going to go forward and back to where I started pretty much. Yes. If I go forward, transfer over to this side, and then forward, transfer over to this side. Pretty simple, right? I think the tricky part here is getting in and out of the traveling step from the box step, but there's a trick that we can use to make sure that we're very clear to do our box. Notice the difference here. What am I doing when I'm doing the box? I'm rotating. And what am I doing when I'm traveling? I'm not rotating. So that's one way to demonstrate to the follower where we're going. So if you're doing a box, make sure you're rotating it and then stop that rotation when you start traveling. So what I'm saying here is that if I move forward, she should move forward as well, right? Yes. We run into problems if my frame isn't solid and connected and I do something like this, she doesn't cue me, or if yours is not connected, we bump into each other, right? So if we keep this distance, we can exaggerate. She should know where I'm going, right? Whether I'm pushing the pole, right? Another way to think about this is sending your energy towards ah. someone. That's the way I usually like to talk about it. Matthew's either continuing to send his energy towards me if we're traveling, yeah. or sending his energy back away from me, which I'm following them if he's staying in that box formation. If the leader hesitates at all, it's a disaster because the follower is like, where am I supposed to be going? You have to dedicate 100% of yourself to the production. Keep in mind that the timing through all of the stuff we've just showed you remains the same. All of our weight chips are happening one, two, three, evenly through uptime. Let's show it one more time. Absolutely. One, two, three, 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 and one. That's all we have for you today. If you like this video and want to see more of them, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you like, comment, and hit that bell button down below to be notified of our next videos. We'll see you next time.